Hello and welcome to Le Beauty Dance. My name is Rosemary. Um, in a moment you're going to see me uh, wash my face and please take note of the various details that I go through that process. Very quick, very quickly I just wanted to say um, doing a cleansing regimen it should be a daily ordeal do to help this process. Well it starts with the beauty within. You got to take care of your body so you got to watch what you're eating. Um, over 90 percent of our bodies are, are is um, fluids so flushing out those toxins that's what it's all about so check out the video right now hello um welcome that <laughs> we're in my bathroom and hopefully this goes well um we're talking about today skin care and obviously it all starts with getting up and getting that face done and getting it prepared for today Forgive me if I don't look directly at my camera because the light is very, very bright and I'm profusely sensitive to light, so I apologize ahead of time. Um, the first key thing is obviously you definitely want to use lukewarm water, not profusely hot, not frigidly cold. Your skin is alive and um, you, you don't want to shock it because shocking it may cause it to A, not expunge out some of the oils and dirt and then later on, lo and behold, you got a dinner date and you got a pimple. So you don't want to do that. Um, if you choose to use any type of bar soap, please make sure you utilize a bar soap um, that is beneficial to what your needs are. I actually do use a bar soap. I use this on my entire body. This is a lemon bar soap. Um, actually, I found at um, at Dollar Tree. Yeah. Um, not that they should I have it all the time. It's Dollar Tree's one of those one hit wonders, but lemon verba um, soap. I also use a papaya soap that I do order at um, Amazon.com. And again, you'll see the links for the papaya soap. And um, again, if I if I knew that you could definitely get this, I would say it's a big bar. It's awesome. I love it. Smells good. Has that lemon. Um, very quickly, why do you use lemon? Well, lemon actually gets your body ready to absorb because it's vitamin C, but also allows your body to absorb all the things you're going to be using. Second thing you're going to need, obviously a towel, but then um, you you really want to be able to, what is called dry um, brush your face. Now, you can use any type of brush. You can see mine here. It's my back brush. Um, and it's not the fancy one. I, you know, oh yes, use a natural brush soles. If you have that, go for it. I did, it got broke. So this is my backup brush and I'm not going to wait to have to go buy one. I'm just gonna do with what I got. The bristles are coarse and, and I'm not doing it hard. And I'm doing it in circular motions. And I will go down into my neck, into my chest area, the back of my neck, my ears. Um, why? Because to me, this is a facial unit. When people see me, they're going to see from here to here, usually, unless I'm wearing a turtleneck, then it's from here to here and from here to here. So I want my skin to be even toned, and that's what we're trying to strive for. Uh, getting in close, you can see what we're working with, and hopefully you've seen the video, the pictures that have shown. A lot of change. Now, another thing you can also use when, if you got some major hardcore peeling, um, example, here you go, my elbow, I think I could check that out, check it out. Um, and when you have that and it's on your face, you're going to have the very shiny mark skin underneath. You don't really want to damage it scrubbing. Use a glove. I love these for the entire body, awesome, but definitely for this because when you put the glove on, very easy to do, you will be able to manually control where you're, where you're expose, expo, exfoliating. Yeah, I think I got that word out. Um, trick, I'm putting on a glove with one hand. How about that, I'm Michael Jackson. Okay, so you wanna use your fingers and really get into those spots. Especially around the nose region, around the eye region. For me, eyebrows, if you got bushy eyebrows, you want to kick it in there. 
and that will really allow you. Now, while I still have on my glove, I am going to back up the camera. Um, we're going to go ahead and go for it. Now, if I have a little bit of acne, um, I do use, and this is again a generic form. It's a oil-free acne wash. I always search for oil-free. Um, it has silicon acid in it, which is obviously um, most acne treatments have it, so people don't freak out. Um, but I don't really need that. Um, my acne is not really going harsh, but I definitely want to cleanse my face. So here we go. Got to take my bar of soap or liquid soap, whichever. And I just want to go all up in there. I don't really do anything fancy around my eyes. Makes it close them. And I take it back through there. Um, the hairline is okay. Why? Because I don't really want a, a, um, any type of oils that may come from my hair. And as you can tell, I'm bringing it down a little bit into my chest and the back of my neck. And voila. Once this is complete, then you'll just obviously go and rinse off your face. And I always recommend everybody pat your face dry, especially going through this treatment and for this point on, pat your face dry. So I hope this is beneficial to start the process and I'll see you at the computer. So you've got the opportunity to see how to cleanse your face. What do you need afterwards? Well, I have four awesome products that I've purchased from Essa's a website. Um, the first one, which is Retina A, you will slough off the skin. And in the prior next videos coming up, you'll see me use this to Retina A. This little tube goes a long way. Don't get um, slack on that. The second thing I've gotten was a derma roller. What is it? I will give you links about it again in the videos to come, and you will see me use it. I really like it. I really do. It's like um, having ac acupuncture, and I'm in control of it. I'm um, also uh, will talk in details of that. Second thing, this is well. Third thing, this is one thing a lot of people are going to send a lot of comments about. Rosemary, that's horrible. Can't believe you're using that. And I'm going to tell you now. I am very organic. I am very all natural in products that I love and use and slowly but surely gradually turning my life into all those levels. But there are certain products that are chemically designed that work and work for my skin. They may work for you. That's the word. M-A-Y. May work for you. I'm not forcing anyone to put anything on their skin. Okay, so I am using hydroquinone cream. It's 20%. You're not going to get anything stronger than this over the counter. And this is the only place I know to get it. And this is an 8 ounce bottle. Yes, it could be bigger, but this is going a long way. Why hasn't it destroyed my skin? Because it's diluted. I dilute it with my lotion or creams. And we'll talk about that. Final thing I got. I love. Hello. What is this? It's a new mask for Halloween? No, it is a gold biocollagen facial mask. This is good for all skin types, especially for fatigue and dehydrated skin. Awesome to use before you head out to on the town. Um, not 15 minutes, you want to give yourself time to make yourself look good. So these are all the processes and these are the key things I've used for a full week. So you'll see before and after pictures and that is within this week, this month of October. And is it working? Well, let's give you a quick view. How about that? Is that the difference between night and day? What do you think? I really think so. Um, I've been using it all over my body, but obviously I had some damage on my elbow and I wanted to get rid of it and it is working remarkably well. Um, so this is just to let you know, does it work? Yeah, I got skin peeling, but using the right lotions and oils is going to help um, keep it toned down while I'm in public and my skin can go crazy while I'm at home. So I look forward to you and your comments and I hope to see you at the next video. I hope this has been beneficial and entertaining and you have an awesome day. Thank you.